It's fast, it is fast. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Daniel, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys around this 2019 Mercedes AMG CLS 53. I'm gonna talk about the powertrain options, the performance specs, the exterior and interior features, and then we're gonna take it on a quick test drive. So let's get right into the review. Starting out under the hood of the AMG CLS 53, it's powered by a three liter turbocharged inline six cylinder engine, which puts out 429 horsepower and 384 pound feet of torque. Now, something interesting about this engine is that it has no accessory belts whatsoever. So the water pump and the AC compressor and things like that are actually powered by an electric generator from the Mercedes EQ division that puts out right around 21 horsepower. So it has an electric motor and it has a gas powered engine but it's not considered a technical hybrid because the generator only provides power to the accessories and not the wheels. But that generator does help relieve a little bit of the stress on the engine, letting it provide that extra 21 horsepower to the wheels, helping it go zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds with the nine speed automatic transmission and intelligent all wheel drive system. You should also get around 21 city MPG and 27 highway MPG. Now it's always interesting to take a quick look at the exterior of new cars like this because it kind of shows you what direction the brand is headed in. And here with Mercedes, we can see kind of a new design language or style for the brand that's gonna be featured on all their upcoming models. And it's really, really smooth. Mercedes markets it as a four door coupe. That sounds a little bit like an oxymoron to me. I think it just means it's got really, really smooth, good looking proportions. And it really does have that. A couple of features it comes with though, it has LED headlights as standard. Again, kind of has a uniform look as in it ties to the rest of the models and looks basically the same, but it's kind of updated to be a little bit more sleek and modern. I definitely like that. Also up front, you've got a ton of aero parts, uh, things like the grill that help send air to the radiator. Also these side slits here that take air from the front and send it out to the side, uh, probably just to decrease drag and uh, increase downforce and things like that. Very, very aggressive look up there. And I love how it's all functional. Now moving on to the side, like I said before, very, very smooth proportions. Come standard with power folding side mirrors. Those are available with carbon fiber mirror caps for a more aggressive performance look. Also comes with standard 19 inch rims, although as we can see here, this is a top tier model, so they've been upgraded to 20 inch rims. And then finally in the rear of the car, you've got an AMG deck lid spoiler, again, available in carbon fiber. Some really aggressive looking LED taillights and quad chrome exhaust tips. But now I think it's time to hop in this car and check out the interior. So here in the interior of the CLS 53, right away you can see they've definitely cleaned up the design quite a bit, especially here on the center console area. They've moved a lot of the controls onto these two screens here. You've got the 12.3 inch infotainment touchscreen, and then here on the left you have a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. They can show you everything from the amount of horsepower you're producing to the amount of boost the turbos are putting out to normal things like your speedometer and tachometer. Very, very well laid out design, especially with this large aluminum style bar here going through the whole interior, kind of ties it all together, makes it a cohesive unit, a very, very well laid out, put together design. But it's also got a couple nice features in here, obviously with this very sporty AMG steering wheel with the flat bottom, the uh, perforated leather on the sides and these paddle shifters here, as well as controls for things like your radio and your adaptive cruise control. On the center console area, you can see the analog clock that adds kind of sophisticated touch to the interior. This is a luxury car as well as a sports car. Uh, and then controls for things like your drive modes. And the car has five of those. You've got an Eco, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and an individual customizable drive mode. Love the way that they designed these air conditioning vents. They're placed all throughout the car, but they've got a really nice design with kind of a jet turbine look as Mercedes-Benz describes it on their website. And they also light up as well. It has 64 different ambient LED lighting configurations here in the infotainment screen. And you can set it so that different sections of the car have different lighting. It just gives it a really, really cool look. But it's also a pretty practical car. Obviously, you've got these super comfortable power seats with four-way 
lumbar power adjustment. You've got 11.9 uh, cubic feet of cargo space, and you've got three seats in the back, making it the first CLS to have five seats in it. Although I think I might have discovered what uh, four-door coupe means. I think it just means that the, uh, the rear passengers don't get any headroom whatsoever. But now I say it's time we take this thing on a quick drive. But really first, I gotta give a shout out and special thanks to Loki Mercedes here in Clearwater, Florida. Really, really great dealership, really great inventory, super nice employees. You definitely wanna come by and check them out. I'll leave a link to their inventory below. All right, let's see what this three liter inline six can do. Push button start, very nice. All right, so we're not gonna go for a very long test drive, so obviously I wanna kick it right in to Sport Plus. Oh, and you can hear the exhaust flaps open. That is a very nice touch. So Mercedes has kind of an interesting way to put the car into drive. First you press the button here to get it out of park. Or no, first you flip it down, and then you flip it, okay, there we go. So it feels pretty smooth at low speeds. Uh, not a difficult car to drive, although it is a little bit difficult to maneuver if you ask me. Oh, it sounds so good on upshifts though. Ooh, I love that sound. Steering is tight, but it doesn't have a lot of feel, Mercedes. You need to work on that. Obviously uh, an electrical system and not hydraulic. Sounds so good. You can just hear a pop as it upshifts even. Very, very nice. <laughs> Camera moved. It's fast, it is fast. But again, not easy to maneuver. Definitely all wheel drive. lost you guys there. The brakes are pretty smooth, the suspension is pretty soft, it feels basically like a luxury car until you step on it. And then of course the sound reminds you that uh, it's not a luxury car. Well it is, but it's a sports car as well and it definitely has that side to it as well. So unfortunately I didn't get a ton of time or space to play around with the car as it didn't actually have a license plate on it. But the general takeaway was that it was a lot of fun to drive when you combine the 429 horsepower with the all-wheel drive system. It was really fast in a straight line. It sounded really good. And really the only letdown was that it was difficult to maneuver and felt a lot bigger than it actually was. All right, guys, there you have my full in-depth review of the 2019 Mercedes AMG CLS 53. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below and go ahead and check out my channel because I've got a ton of exotic supercar and hypercar reviews up. So I want to subscribe and thanks for watching.